A question from, uh, he's a new journalist here, you don't really hear much about him, Matthew Lee, Inner okay. City Press. Uh, he's very good at his questions, short and on target, fire away. Sure, thanks a lot. I, I guess I want, I mean, it's, this is a great room and it's a great renovation, it's very lofty. I spent the last two or three years actually in the basement covering the actual Security Council where it's been meeting. And I wanted to ask us kind of a smaller question concerning kind of first do no harm. It's like the council creates these missions, they go out into the world. In places like Haiti and the DRC, they're really a main game in town. They're a major engine of the economy. But when things go wrong, it seems like the council doesn't, there's no follow through. The example that to me comes to mind is Haiti, where like obviously, you know, inadvertently, but it seems pretty clear that the peacekeeping mission brought cholera into the country and 5,000 people died and many people in the country were concerned and they filed a legal claim. And ultimately the council did nothing. They left it totally up to Ban Ki-moon. He ended up saying the claim is not receivable. And I think that the UN's reputation Mutation is really tarnished. So I wonder, same thing in DRC where you've had well, rapes. Okay, the question is, does the council sort of, its day-to-day -day work are countries like Haiti and DRC where it makes, where, where people are really counting on it, but when something like Syria or Libya comes along, everyone forgets. And so what can the council do to actually oversee the sec secretariat? So, for example, it could give a more credible response to people in Haiti when they have a beef you, or to rape victims in the DRC. We'll Thank you. Like to tackle that. Bruno, then, again, Since you mentioned Haiti and the DRC, I think that if you look at the trajectory of the UN in both, there have been successes and failures. Uh, so I don't think you can say that the UN's participation in either Haiti or DRC has been consistently a failure. At times, for example, when it addressed the Cedros regime, it was a great success. Uh, originally, Monuk, I think, was a great success. Things that did turn out somewhat sour. Um, certainly, the Council has an issue with follow-up, yes. Uh, its agenda has just spiraled out of control. It has, I think, at best of the, less, the latest count, 57 active agenda items. So it is a very lofty agenda with very eager resources. So certainly it needs to create greater coordination amongst uh, the Security Council and subsidiary bodies, the Secretariat, the troop contributing countries, the police contributing countries, the regional organizations, the regional organizations. But all of those powers and tools are in the charter. All right. Uh, Mr. Minister, anything? I mean, you're, you're a country rep here, and the, there's that, from these questions, you get a sense of it's all well and good, it's a great room, the Security Council, the goals of the past, but people with cholera there, people in Sri Lanka, people in a lot of other countries who look for the international community to help, and then bupkis, the word that should be used in all resolutions of the UN. Well, there are more, I mean, there are actually more and more action to help, and there are less conflicts now than there were 10 or 15 years ago, which means that we're getting something right. But there are also too many that are left unattended, so both are true at the same time. And the, the whole Great Lakes area, the DRC, is one of the, the biggest uh, tragedies of humankind for many, many years. And where it's not that nobody tries to do it, we're not able effectively to deal with it. So we have to get better, but we also have to recognize that we've actually we have, we have engaged in conflicts which have actually ended thanks to the work of, for instance, Indian peacekeepers and everybody else who has been willing to stand up to well, the job. these peacekeeping missions which get underfunded. And, all right. Uh,